If you own reptiles, you're probably aware that a huge component about keeping them is cleaning up after their messes. But what should you be cleaning with? What's the best disinfectant? Well, today I'll be sharing with you the top three cleaning chemicals that we use at home for cleaning up after our reptiles and how each one plays an important role in our day-to-day -day lives. First, it's important to know the difference between cleaning and disinfecting. Cleaning is the process when you are physically removing visual debris from the enclosure. This means poop, it means regurgitation if that happens, but usually it's just poop in a reptile enclosure. You're removing it out and you're usually wiping it down with water afterwards. Disinfecting is the next step where you are actually applying a chemical compound to kill potentially disease-causing microorganisms. Anyway, for each of these three chemicals that we use and recommend for reptile cleaning purposes, I'm going to be sharing with you the pros and cons of each. Let's start with vinegar solution. Vinegar is a very commonly used disinfectant in the animal world. Not only reptiles, but people use this for birds and for dogs and cat supplies. Uh, it's, it's very universal. One of the pros is that it's cheap and it's easy to find. Another pro is that it's natural and it's not toxic, like fume-wise. The, the fume might be a little irritating to some, but it's not going to be as toxic as one of the chemicals we'll talk about later on. Since vinegar is not as harsh as some other cleaning chemicals out there, you can use it in, uh, in its undiluted form, so you can use it straight from this bottle. I use the 6% cleaning vinegar. The 5% vinegar is the type that's used in cooking, so use the 6% for cleaning purposes. If that's too strong for you, like odor-wise, uh, you can also mix it 50-50 with water, and that's what I do at home. Vinegar works great on glass in terrariums. It's great at removing smudges and calcium buildups and poop residue. You can use it to wipe that up. So I recommend putting it in a spray bottle on the mist setting, not the stream, and then you can use that to mist down the glass and easily wipe it clean afterwards. Unfortunately, since it's not as strong of a chemical as one we're going to talk about later on, it's not 100% effective at killing all microorganisms. So this is a good basic cleanser, but it's not going to clean everything off, which is why the next one I recommend is bleach. Bleach is a very strong chemical that will kill nearly all microorganisms, including bacteria and viruses. So it's great in disinfecting enclosures and surfaces. Bleach is also very cheap and easy to obtain, just like vinegar. However, because of how strong a chemical this is, it has a very potent odor, which can be irritating to both you and your animal. So it's very important to move your animal into a different room when you are using bleach to clean the enclosure. The fumes from bleach can also be toxic to exposed living tissue, including your eyes, your skin, and your lungs if you were to inhale the fumes from it. So it's very important to wear all PPE gear when dealing with this stuff. That includes gloves for sure, as well as goggles and masks if necessary. Since bleach comes in its concentrated form, you don't want to use pure bleach from the bottle to disinfect the enclosures. You do need to dilute it with water, but there's varying opinions on how much water you should use to the bleach, like what the ratio should be. Some people say one part bleach to 16 parts water, some say one part bleach to 32 parts water. Uh, that equates to around half a cup to one cup bleach for every gallon of water. I usually play it on the more conservative side and I use only a half a cup bleach for every gallon of water just because I don't want to risk overdoing it. There are a few select spores of bacteria and fungi that bleach won't kill, but for the most part it kills just about everything it comes into contact with, which is why I do like using bleach when the time is right. But again, it's very important to not only remove your reptile when using this, but also to wear personal protective equipment and to have sufficient ventilation in order to air out those fumes after you use it. I also recommend after you spritz or mist down the enclosure or the decor that you're disinfecting with your diluted bleach solution, let it sit for about 30 seconds to a minute, and then make sure you rinse it off with water afterwards to get rid of this toxic chemical before letting it completely dry, and then you can finally add your reptile back into the enclosure, or you can put that piece of decor back into the enclosure. Just like the vinegar solution, I put my diluted bleach in a spray bottle, but I make sure that it is a completely different color than the vinegar water and that they are clearly labeled so that I don't mix them up. 
The last disinfecting chemical that we're going to cover in today's video, and it's my personal favorite, is chlorhexidine. This is non-toxic to the skin, and if it's used in a small enough con or little enough concentration, like 1% concentration, you can actually use it to clean out wounds on the skin of reptiles. One type of chlorhexidine solution is Novasan, and that's used quite often in like shell rot with turtles. So not only is this good for cleaning out the enclosure and the decor, but you can also use it to clean out wounds or uh, shell rot issues in reptiles as long as it's diluted enough. The ratio you'll want to use when using this for cleaning enclosures and decor is one part uh, chlorhexidine to 32 parts water, which equates to half a cup chlorhexidine for every gallon of water. So what I do is, just like the others, uh, I recommend putting it in a spray bottle because you're going to use this a lot. I measure out how big the bottle is and then I put on a piece of tape how many mils of chlorhexidine I'll need for it so it's easy to remember when I have to refill it. So for this water bottle I need 1.9 mils and then I just have a 1 mil syringe taped to my chlorhexidine solution bottle. That makes it very easy for when I'm just refilling this little spray bottle. Chlorhexidine kills most bacteria and viruses, and that's why this is actually what veterinarians use in their clinics. This is what vets will use to spray down the tables that you set your dog, your cat, your lizard, your whatever on because of how effective, effective of a cleaner it really is. And since this chemical is non-toxic to the skin, in its diluted form anyway, when you use this to spray down or mist down your enclosures to disinfect them, you can merely just wipe it off after letting it sit for about 15 seconds or so, or you can just let it dry and you're good to go. If you use newspaper as a substrate for your snakes or whatever, I've also found that chlorhexidine is superior to the other chemicals because it removes ink stains left behind from the newspaper almost instantly. Like I've tried scrubbing down bins that have ink stains on the bottom from newspaper ink uh, with soap and water to no avail, but then a mere few seconds after spraying or misting diluted chlorhexidine on the ink stains, I'm able to just wipe them up with a paper towel. Another pro to chlorhexidine is there's no odor to this stuff. So if you are sensitive to smells, I highly recommend this chemical as your disinfecting agent. So you may be wondering, which of these disinfectants is the best? Well, there's not really one best disinfecting solution for every cleaning job that you have in regards to reptile care. So I actually have a spray bottle for all three of these that contains the, the chemical diluted with water, and I have them very well labeled so I don't mix them up, of course, and in different colored spray bottles so I can just look at the color and know which one it is. But basically, I use all three of these just for different purposes. I use the vinegar water when I'm cleaning glass on the enclosures because it does a really good job at cleaning up smudges from the glass and it doesn't leave streaks behind. It also is fantastic at picking up uh, calcium deposits or like hard water buildup on glass. It'll eat that away just fine. I use chlorhexidine for my day-to-day -day cleaning or spot cleaning of enclosures. Like if I see poop in an enclosure, I remove it and then I spray down that general area with chlorhexidine and I either wipe it away or let it dry and then we're done. And for when I'm doing more deep cleanings, like I'm removing all of the bedding and I'm soaking all the decor, what I disinfect everything with at the end is the bleach solution. Because I know this is going to kill almost or nearly all of the bacteria, funguses, and viruses that are present, if there's any present. It just cleans everything. It's great. However, because of how potent this stuff is and how toxic bleach is, I don't use it for my day-to-day -day cleanings like I do the vinegar and the chlorhexidine. So I do recommend having all three of these chemicals at your house so that you can use them for similar situations with your own reptile cleaning. Bleach and vinegar are again really easy to find. You can find them at any grocery store really. Chlorhexidine is a little bit harder to find. If you are looking for this stuff, I will put a link to it in the description below for where I buy chlorhexidine and it might make it a little easier for you. Again, these are just my top three picks for my disinfecting solutions. I just like it because they each have different jobs to do at my house. A couple other options that we won't cover today include F10, alcohol, and hydrogen peroxide. Maybe if you like this kind of video, I can compare those three in another video. 
But again, this is what I use and it seems to work great. The important things to remember from this video are to wear gloves when you are dealing with these chemicals in their concentrated form, especially bleach because of how toxic it is. Vinegar, not so much, but if you have sensitive skin, it doesn't hurt to wear gloves anyway. And chlorhexidine, I'd recommend wearing gloves too, especially when you are moving these chemicals into their diluted forms with water in the spray bottles because that's when you're most likely to come into direct contact with it. Second, it's important to keep your animals safe when you are using any of these chemicals around them, so make sure you are using these in a well-ventilated room and remove your reptile from the room while you're using these until everything has been cleaned and rinsed off and, uh, when it comes to bleach or when it's been wiped down or air dried when it comes to chlorhexidine and vinegar. I apologize that this wasn't a very long video but I think it's still an important subject to cover so I hope you learned something new and I hope this helps you out when it comes to cleaning up after your own reptiles at home because cleaning is a very very important part of reptile keeping. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next week.